welcome everyone welcome to inspire chemistry my name is ovik today i'm here to discuss on the msc admission in iss that is in an association for the cultivation of science you all know about iss it is a very famous old research institute in india they provide two type of courses that is bsms course for 5 years and integrate ms phd course for 7 years today i am here to discuss on the admission procedure for the msc recently i am doing my msc in iss that's why i am going to discuss on this topic now first coming to the syllabus syllabus is pretty as same as the jam so you have to study all the three portion because the weightage of uh, from the three portion will be equal so you have to study all the three portions in a very proper and in a good way now coming to the question pattern the question pattern is also same as jam there is 60 questions but the mark distribution is different six each question each question has three marks so there is total 180 marks and for each wrong answer there will be deduction of minus 1 mark okay so that is all about the question pattern syllabus is also same as the jam now in previous year the exam was held on june most probably in 21st june uh, i gave the exam on 21st june but this year the exam has shifted early in 17th 18th april but i don't know whether this exam will be on 17th 18th april because due to corona virus you can check the website for any further details i think the exam will be shifted further uh, now coming to the point that after the uh, after the test uh, the test will be uh, test will be on the computer based examination so the test will be held at uh, kolkata tcs uh, tcs so it's a very computer based exam so no calculator will be provided now after the computer after the test after the computer based test about 60 or 70 students will be selected for the next round that is for the interview round now the interview round is i will say it's not so difficult but you have to be uh, you have to be prepared for you have to be prepared for every uh, three portion but i can say uh, you have to be good in your strong point now for my uh, in previous year for my uh, for my portion that is i i am good in physical so i read it in a full and proper way so that i can answer each and every question from the physical so they asked me uh, what is my strong point so i told them that is physical and they asked a lot of question from this physical but after the physical portion they will also ask you from the inorganic and organic portion now if we if you if you guys want to offer physical i can say you can choose thermo uh, they will uh, if you can you can choose quantum and they will ask many question from thermodynamics kinetics phase and some also some portion on from real gases these four chapters are very important for not only for iss for the interview in every uh, well known institute like iser also in jncsr iisc bangalore and iss as well so you have to be prepared for prepared for the interview and uh, this topic is very important and also the inorganic organic question will be there now i can say that for the interview purpose um, in interview you can't remember all the portions so you have to be tactful and you have to be good at your base the base should be good as you can answer each and every question yeah you can't answer each and every question but you can approach to each and every portion okay they will see that how can you approach uh, each and single every question how can you approach so they will judge you on that approach so basically it's not so difficult to crack an interview now coming to the selection procedure now as i can say 60 or 70 students will be taken for the interview and from the interview uh, about 13 students maximum 13 students 
will be selected for the chemical sciences uh, that is the pure chemistry and about three four students will be selected for the interdisciplinary part that the interdisciplinary course is there and also three four students will be selected for the material science courses and uh, each student will be provided 12,000 rupees uh, for the stipend for every month about for the two years so you can see that the number of student selection is very less so I can suggest you that for the interview purpose for the interview you can you can be very much confident okay what do you know you have to be answered in a very confident manner I, I know that you can't remember everything so you have to be confident what you are telling you have to be confident and they will judge you on the approach you are taken for each and every question so uh, that's what for the ICS for any queries you can contact me the contact details will be given in the description and for any further details for the ICS exam you can go to their website and you can see whether any update will be given for the exam or will be postponed or did not so you can check the website in a regularly way so that's well and all the best for the examination thank you